we didn't start well at the game. We uh, left a little bit the initiative to the opponent, which was not our plan, because we wanted to uh, look forward, press forward, pass forward. <coughs> but it didn't work out the first half. Then uh, we tried to speak to the players at halftime. OK, what's going on, etc. And then to try to get them back into playing football like the, the way they can. And the uh, second half was better. We made some substitutions. So it helped the team that, that Dan Glaser came back in, uh, into the team in terms of that he was trying to organize the midfield, trying to bring in his character into the game. And uh, it helped other players to, to open up and to, how to say it, uh, bloom a little bit and, and show more of their qualities. For me, it is not only the character that wins. Uh, we, we didn't start well. I think the character brought us back in the game. And uh, at, at, at certain moments, we showed good football in the second half. It's impossible at that moment to, to influence a player, really. Uh, you need to bring it uh, to the field yourself. And I think some of the substitutions changed the, the mood of some of the players uh, in the team. And they started to believe that something was more possible than, than what, ha what happening in the first half. Right. A very physical game. Uh, it started like that, yes, and it finished uh, also like that. But it's not always, how to say it, a physical game that that is really into the tackles. But it was an emotional game uh, from two sides. Apple Besheva is also a, a club that that shows uh, their qualities in matches, and uh, yeah, we have to prepare us for for that. And I'm glad that we are getting a full squad again with the boys coming back from uh, from the injury. So that's good for us and uh, gives us a good quality squad to, to play all these matches. You know, Jose also in the previous matches was part of, uh, of it, so uh, I think that he's part of the squad and when he needs to play, he needs to play.